Hi there, fellow YouTubers. Are you looking for a fast and easy way to take your video editing skills to the next level? Or perhaps you're just starting out on your YouTube journey and want to create professional quality content that will grab your viewers' attention. Either way, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be exploring CapCut, a completely free video editing software that you can use on your PC, tablet, or phone. With the CapCut, you will have to access to a plethora of tools and features that will help you transform your videos from ordinary to extraordinary. So whether you are editing pro or newbie, join me as we dive into the world of CapCut and discover how to create engaging and interesting videos that will keep your viewers coming back for more. Let's get started. Step 1. Cut and Trimming once you've downloaded CapCut, the first step to editing your video is to import your footage into the software. Simply click on New Project and drag your video onto the timeline. Make sure you are using the correct format for your YouTube videos, which is 16 to 9 for long form and 9 to 16 for short form. From there, it's time to start the cutting and trimming process. To trim a video clip, click on it in the timeline and drag the edge to your desired length. You can also use the split and the delete function in the toolbar above the timeline to refine your edits. To speed up the process, consider shooting different sections in different in separate clips. When it's time to cut the gaps, zoom in on the timeline and use the audio file below as a guide to identify where the gaps are and make your cut. Once you pieced everything together, you will have a rough draft of your main video ready to go. Step 2. Background music. Let me show you how to add some awesome background music to your main footage in CapCut. First off, open up the audio library by clicking on the top left icon and uh, selecting the music button. CapCut offers a wide variety of music styles, but I usually go for something that suits the vlog style of content. You can give it a quick preview by clicking on the track to make sure it fits the mood of your video. Simply click on the plus button to add it to your timeline. You can also click and drag the track to wherever you want it to be. But here's something to watch out for. Make sure you check for any copyright issues with the music you choose. I once made that mistake and my video got flagged on YouTube. I had to go back and change the track and re-upload the video. Now, some people suggest to use um, epidemic sound for music, but I personally prefer using story blocks. With a paid subscription, you not only get access to a variety of music, but also to stock footage and animations. It's like getting more bang for your buck from one place. Finally, I suggest using different tracks for different sections of your video. This keeps things interesting and it gives your viewer a refreshed feel with each section. Music is a powerful tool in video creation that can evoke viewers emotions and make it more engaging and memorable for your viewers. Step 3. Add B-roll, stickers, effects, transitions, sound effect, text, and keyframe. A transition is a visual effect that is used to switch between two different video clips or talking points smoothly. The way you can use transition to your videos is to click on the point between the two clips in the timeline, then click on transitions tab. CapCut has a wide range of transition style that you can choose from. When you hover your mouse over the style, it will give you a preview of how it looks like for your video. When you find the one that you want to use, then click on the plus button and it will automatically add to your video clips. After you've added a transition, you can even change its duration. For example, if you want the transition to be a little bit longer or shorter, then the default length, just click on the dial and drag it left or right to adjust its duration. Another great way of adding transitions or chapters to your video is to use Canva. 
Type in YouTube chapters in the search bar of Canva. You can see there are some animated templates you can use for your video chapters. Then click on customize. Then you can change the wording and the format to the chapter. Then download clips and add them to your video timeline in CapCut. If you want to keep your audience engaged and interested in your videos, adding some B-roll footage can do the trick. B-roll is a footage that you can use to change up the scenes or demonstrate certain points you're talking about. Personally, I like to use footage from either story blocks or pixels. I pay a subscription fee for story blocks, but pixel is completely free, although they have limited resources. Of course, you can always shoot your own B-roll footage to demonstrate things you do during a day or your life. Adding B-roll footage to your video is really simple. Just click on Media in the top left corner, then click on Import. Select the footage you want to use and click Open. Then just drag it down to your timeline wherever you want it to appear. You can adjust the length and the size of your B-roll footage too. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see options to adjust the scale, position, rotation, and even blending of your B-roll footage. So go ahead and experiment with different B-roll shots to make your video more engaging and interesting. There are a few tricks you can use besides just the transitions and B-rolls. Adding stickers, text, and sound effects can make a big difference. To add stickers to your video, just go to the menu and click on the stickers tab. There are tons of options to choose from, like fun emojis, thank you stickers, and more. Simply click on the plus sign and add the stickers to your video, and you can resize, move it around, and even change the animation to make it more eye-catching. Another great place to find stickers and the GIF is on Jiffy. I think it's called Jiffy. You can really take your videos to the next level by adding text to emphasize important points. Just click on the text tab under the menu and start exploring the different fonts, colors, and effects to make your text stand out. You can also add sound effects to really make your videos pop. For example, if you want to add a whoosh sound effect when your text comes onto the screen, just click on the audio and the sound effects tab and search for the sound you want. Once you find the right one, simply click the plus button to add it to your clip. A lot of YouTubers use these techniques to encourage viewers to like and subscribe to their channels. By adding a subscribe button and a mouse click sound effect at the end of the video, you can really boost viewer engagement. As you can see, I use this one from Storyblock, the green screen subscribe button. So the key is just using the Chrome key to get rid of the green color, then adjust the size of the subscribe button, position in the right place, then add the mouse click sound by going to the audio and typing mouse click sound. Make sure the sound is added at the place when the actual click is happening. So the sound and the picture go hand in hand. Step 4. Advanced Editing, Cloning and Keyframe Not many people have the luxury of a beautiful setup home to shoot videos, and even if they do, finding the time to shoot videos and clean up the background can be a challenge. Fortunately, there is a great solution that can save you time and hassle. Using a blurred background This simple trick can help you achieve a professional-looking video without worrying about the mess and private stuff in the background. Here's how you can do it. Select the clip you want to blur, then right click and choose copy. At the same starting point, on the different track, right click and choose paste to create an overlay. Essentially, you will have two identical clips. Next, go to the overlay clip. Choose cutout under the video tab and click on auto cutout. Finally, click on the main frame, go to effect. Choose Blur and drag the effect onto the mainframe. Voila, here you go. Cloning. Want to add some visual interest to your video? Consider trying out the cloning effect. It might sound complicated, but it's actually pretty easy to do. All you need to shoot is two or more separate video clips without moving your camera or phone. Keep your camera or phone in the same spot while shooting two different clips with you in different positions. 
Once you have the two clips, import them into CapCut. Use one as the main frame and the other as the overlay. Then click on the main frame, choose Mask on the video in the top right hand corner and click Split. Now you can change the position of a split screen. For example, I rotated mine to an angle and feathered it to make it look more natural. And here you go, I have an evil twin in my video with me. <laughs> Give it a try and see how it turns out. Keyframe. If you want to make a cool visual effect like this one, this is how you do it. First, head to the main screen of CapCut and click on New Project. On the left hand side, you will see the library. Click on that and choose the black screen option from the black and white category. Now, click on the plus sign to add some text. Change the text to whatever you want to display and the format and then export it and save the footage somewhere. Now, let's import the footage into our project. Head back to the home page and click on new project again. Choose import and then select your footage. Drag it down to your timeline. Next, import the text that you just saved and drag it down as an overlay. To get rid of the black background, click on the blend button under the basic option and choose screen. This is essentially the splice function on iPad or the iPhone version in the past. I think they call it blend as well now. Um, you can also adjust the size and position of the text to your liking. Now let's work on the mask. Click on mask and split it at an angle of 90 degree and move it all the way to the left and click on a keyframe. Play your main video and look for the spot where you want to put the next keyframe. Try not to go too far between. Keep playing and moving the mask line a little bit more and place a keyframe on the overlay until you reach the full screen display. And that's it. You're all set to add some awesome visual effects to your video. Thanks for tuning in to my videos on how to edit videos using the CapCut PC version. I hope this tutorial has helped you speed up your editing process and get familiar with the basic editing steps. I also hope it's giving you some ideas on how to get creative with advanced editing functions in CapCut in order to attract your viewers' attention and increase your retention rate. I will be posting more videos like this. So make sure you like and comment below with any special tips and tricks you have for editing more efficiently and more issues you might have encountered when using CapCut. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me grow. I really appreciate your support. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.